Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground up the way I can see the road. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I'm sharing with you guys some after dark cleaning motivation. I'm picking up the house after dinner, cleaning the dishes and some other things because if you guys are anything like me, going to bed with a clean house, there is just no better feeling in the world. So we're gonna jump right into the cleaning motivation and I'm just picking up the dishes here, putting them in the dishwasher. I'm gonna put away some leftovers and we have quite a few things to do on our to-do list this evening. So I hope you guys are cleaning along with me. You can take me high. I can see the sun staring at you when you If this is your first time on my channel, I did want to introduce myself really quick for you guys. My name is Meredith. I am a full-time teacher and I also love creating homemaking, cleaning, cooking, decorating videos. And if that is some content that you guys are into, I would really love to have you subscribe and join my internet family. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a follow over on Instagram. I just love sharing my daily life with you guys over there. And if you're not following me over there, I would love to have you. Feels like I can fly I don't need anybody I don't need anybody else No one will ever take me No one will ever take me away from you I promise I will hold on to you I don't know what I'd do Without you Without you You can take me high I've mentioned this before in some of my cleaning videos, but I actually prefer to clean my sink out in the morning because the morning light coming into this kitchen window makes it really easy to see all of the dirt and stuff in my sink. But I wanted to clean it tonight because anytime I thaw meat out in the sink or I've cleaned a bunch of dishes, I really just like to scrub this sink out just so I know that it's really clean. Not quite as satisfying as when it sparkles in that morning sunlight, but it really needed to be done. I wanna be a weekend lover Yeah, I'ma be the best damn lover you got I wanna mess up your covers So I didn't know this until the other day, a friend of mine on, I think Instagram had posted that the barkeeper's friend on the bottle actually tells you to dry off your surface after you're done using it. I just always liked drying it off because there is nothing better than a shiny sink. But now I realize that the product actually says on the bottle that you should dry your surface off when you're done using it. So that's just a tip if you like using the barkeeper's friend like I do. I think it's probably the same whether it's the cleanser or the powder but now I'm gonna scrub down my stove top we're gonna wipe down the counters and finally be done in this kitchen that has ever happened to you here's your time to shine I'll show me what you can do make a move the way my let me know that you guys are enjoying this video by giving it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments what you are cleaning with me or if you are just sitting and watching. Sometimes these relaxing evening cleaning videos I just kind of like to watch in the evening. I don't actually have to be cleaning anything so let me know what you guys are doing down below.
Those of you who are wondering when Josie was going to make her appearance, here she is. I feel like she shows up in my cleaning videos pretty much every time I'm filming. Jack was kind of babysitting her for me and playing with her while I was cleaning up after dinner because most of the time she is right under my feet and it's really hard to get things done. And I told him I really need to film this video so can you entertain her for me so I can get this done. And I just always appreciate an extra set of hands. As soon as the kitchen is clean, I feel like I'm in that home stretch and the light at the end of the tunnel is there. So the last thing I need to do in here is move the chairs out so that I can have the robot vacuum do a quick vacuum for me. And you may have noticed I only had three chairs around the table. And that's because the other day I had them all on top of the table, which is where I normally put them when I go to mop or vacuum. But Josie knocked one of them over and thankfully she did not get hurt, but it did scare her really bad. And one of the chair legs kind of broke, so Jack is gonna wood glue it for me in the other room so I can finally have my four chairs back around my table. And then once this robot vacuum is doing its thing, we're gonna move on to the bathroom. I wonder if you think about me too. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold. wasn't too bad I just needed to wipe down the sink and then the toilet I feel like these are a bi-weekly thing that I like to do because this is the only bathroom that I use in my house really so it gets dirty pretty quick I'm not gonna do the tub or anything I'm not gonna do the floors just a quick wipe down of those surfaces that really need it By the end of the day the living room is pretty much full of cat toys all over the floor and the blankets always need to be straightened up I'm just putting the remote controls and stuff in this basket where I like to keep them and then I'm gonna let the robot vacuum kind of clean up in here this room gets a lot of cat hair I think when I'm not here Josie likes to spend most of her time here in the living room cuddled up in the blankets which is fine but it just means that I have to wash the blankets vacuum vacuum off the couch pretty frequently so I'm just freshening everything up for the next day. Night. You came by the other day, dropped off a key, but wouldn't stay. We couldn't even start a fight. I know it's only been a week, but I can't eat. I'm losing sleep. I'm missing you on Sunday.
I needed to turn over the laundry really quick. I had a load of leached items in the washing machine and then I'm gonna throw in a load of towels and different rugs that I had picked up from around the house. I like to throw those all in together so that I can get them washed and then dried before I go to bed. And then we have just a few finishing touches just to make sure that the house is extra cozy and ready for the next day. those chairs back under my table now that they are finished being fixed so thankfully I have all four of my chairs back and the table looks a little bit more normal and I decided not to mop tonight most nights it's one of those things where I wrestle with do I mop do I not mop and by this point I was pretty tired so I'm just gonna put those rugs back down on the floor and I can save the mopping for another time but now I want to show you guys what the house looks like now that it is all clean and fresh and ready for the next day there's honestly nothing better than waking up in the morning with a clean house and everything is in its place right where it belongs and there is my sweet girl sleeping on the couch usually by this point in the evening we're ready to watch tv or a movie or just kind of hang out and she is ready for it too but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing i would love to have you and i will see you guys again really soon with a brand new video. Bye guys. I never gave the key to you. Even though I wanted to. I should be trying something new, but now my body's sick. I'm tired of dwelling in the dark. It's just that my heart can't take it. I didn't know